how to create deep intimacy with your partner, your spouse, someone who you're getting married with, or just your side piece. <laughs> Let's get straight into it. This is my method where I talk real, authentic game, attraction, comfort, seduction, all the elements you need to truly start winning in this game of love and romance that we play with these women. Remember, game is the ability to attract and keep a woman authentically. No games, no lies, no gimmicks. Hashtag, occasionally, I like the scumbaggery. Let's get straight into it, man. Intimacy, what is it? Intimacy is basically... Mm, seduction with source now seduction is the ability to create that sexual tension that sexual bubble sometimes with your eyes with your touch how you speak you know how you spit fire in her ear bro to get the guts of watery those viscid innards that you love so much how can we create intimacy communication communication is a two-way street can you talk and add value? Can you listen effectively and be creative with how you speak? Seduction. How do you spit fire in her air, bro, that gets the guts watery? This is not just flirting and, and being sexual all the time. This is like dropping gems in your sentences. So when she reads, she smiles. When she reads, she can imagine. We talk about being creative, being your own narrator. I always talk about game as being your movie. But you're the main character, but you're also the director, bro. You need to direct her through how you speak, how you text her, bro. Communication, massively important. Intimate moments, remember. It's not what she does when she's with you. It's what she does when she's not with you, bro. And when you're texting her, bro, and you're sourcing the guts, this is how you build intimacy and communicating on a deeper emotional level, bro. Remember, women want you to listen. They really want you to hear what they're saying. Emotional intelligence. Just because she's happy, bro, doesn't mean she's happy. Remember, women can communicate with emotions and they communicate through their moods as well okay is she giving you surface level stuff bro or is she giving you deep emotional conversation can you access that emotional that emotional investment from her this is how you build intimacy can you break down those walls that other donnies have have had to build with her for her can you break those defense mechanisms down? And can you truly get to what she's saying? Remember, when she can truly capture her mind, bro, she will give you everything. Get the mind, bro, the body. Number two, give her space. Give her time to herself. When she has space, there's doubt. When there's doubt, there's uncertainty. When there's space, she thinks about you. What's he doing? Why has he not contacted me? And then when you do come together, bro, everything feels better. When you haven't texted her the whole day and you see her in the evening, bro, everything feels better. You don't have to be on your phone all the time. I don't know why you Donnies don't do this. When you're busy, and it's just a little, it's not even on topic, off topic, but when you're busy, bro, and you're with your boys or you're about to have dinner, bro, text her, say, look, look I'm about to eat, I'm about to go out with the boys. I'll text you in a couple of hours. You can do that, bro. It is allowed. Be the man. Play your role. You've acknowledged her text message. You've told her you're busy. It's great when you're busy. You don't need to pretend when you're busy. And bro, if you have your phone and you do see the message and you're not busy, bro, text her. It's okay. Remember, I don't really promote texting unless you're setting up the date. But for you Donnies that can't resist, it's okay to tell her you're busy and that you'll text her later. It's okay. Hey, listen... I'll send your message. I'll text you back properly later. That is okay. Embrace it. You are busy. Number three, bro. Do small gestures. The things that you know she loves. I'm talking about flowers, little chocolates, hide things around the house, bro. Be creative with it. 
They love it, man. Hey, listen, I picked up your favorite sweets today. <sniffs> Little things like that, bro, they go a long way. Even though they're small and they're cheap, it doesn't even matter about the value, bro. Sentimental things. Things that she's told you that you know that she likes, but you don't do often, bro. Do for her. This creates intimacy. Candles. I said flowers already, bro. These little intricacies, bro. Just source it a little bit, bro. If you really want that ambiance, that ambiance, ambiance. Number four, bro. Go on an adventure. When I say adventure, bro, an adventure in her mind. <laughs> You've been watching me a long time. You know what that is, bro. Dickens. Ankles not loose, bro. Stick her face in the pillow. Stick her ass in the air. Blow that back out. Take her to the lake. Spread your ass cheeks, bro. Put your dick on her forehead and your balls in her mouth, bro. And blow the back out. Put that bitch to sleep. Go on an adventure. Sexual. Number five or number six. Shout out to Steve the Dean if he ever watches it. To be fair, man. Steve the Dean, bro. Get me on the panel. That's all I'm saying. Anyway. Five. No judgments. I'm going to leave you with this gem. I'm going to give you this gem for free. A lot of you guys talk yourself out of pussy and women don't get sexual with you because you put judgments on them. She wants to be a freak, bro. Let her be a freak. But she needs to feel okay and feel safe to, in order to be a freak. You cannot judge her. Let her be herself. Let her be free when she trusts you. And that's all I'm saying. A little tip as well, man. You want intimacy, bro? Get in the best shape of your life, bro. Get in the best shape of your life. A woman, when she's in your life, bro, she should be, she should improve. You should elevate her. Which means, bro, that if you are a true high value man, any girl that comes into your life should see your value. She should know that you are a great guy. You are, it is her benefit to date you. If she doesn't see that value, bro, then are you really high value, bro? You must improve her. You must elevate her. And that's all I'm saying, man. Good luck, man. If you need coaching, DM me on Instagram. Check out the books in the description box. I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep learning, keep growing, keep loving it up. Peace.